We are presenting a joint work from two schools uh, from Portugal, uh, ISEP. You've heard, you've heard about ISEP uh, some minutes ago. It's the School of Engineering in Porto, and also from the University of Minho, the School of Engineering of Minho. We are presenting uh, the results of uh, a study we have done about students' expectations uh, before and after <coughs> the curricular internship. So this presentation is divided in five parts, as you can see, and uh, I am speaking about the first two, and Selina is going to uh, present you the third and uh, next parts. What was our motivation? We must say that uh, as, uh, when, when we have uh, done our literature review, uh, authors are unanimous in uh, affirming that internships are very important uh, in all formation areas. We come from engineering, but this is also true when we are speaking about health or uh, management and other areas. So the importance of curricular internships is, of course, uh, defined. Uh, last year we had, we had the opportunity of presenting also in the team uh, in Porto another work in this um, subject where we presented the results of uh, five or six years of uh, um, interpretation of what the employers thought about our students when making internships. Our preoccupation was to see if the employers were satisfied by uh, the formation of our students when arriving at the company. So, uh, the results were quite positive and from this period of time the conclusion was uh, almost the same. Students are uh, perfectly able to do what we, we ask them and uh, they do it very well. So, after these conclusions, we, th we thought that it would be interesting to also to see how students themselves were facing their internship. And uh, more than that, we were uh, looking to see if there were any differences between what they were expecting from their internship and after their internship, what they could conclude about what they uh, uh, effectively managed to, to acquire and to earn and to, to do. So this, is, this was our motivation. Uh, the main goal, we, I, I have already uh, said, so we wanted to analyze what were the expectations of the students before starting their internship and how they analyzed their outcomes after finishing their internship. Um, what is um, uh, the curricular internship or how it uh, comes in the formation of uh, chemical engineering graduation. The students consider they come from chemical engineering, the first cycle, and this internship uh, is uh, allowed at the last year of their formation. Uh, in this picture you can see that for the last four years we have seen an increase in the number of students that want to do an internship because they can, or, uh, they can choose bef uh, between an internship or a project uh, done in school. So, uh, last year we had almost 50 students, the same number as the previous year, and as we can see this is a, a large number compared with the total number of students. This is quite attractive for students. Uh, we must say that this internship lasts for two to five months, they are four days a week in the company uh, and they have a, sh a schedule uh, similar to that of re regular employees. So it's a, a hard work and they uh, really dive in the, the working, uh, the working uh, rhythm. Uh, meanwhile, they have also to attend five, uh, four other courses. <coughs> What means that they are uh, also involved in making reports, other works, besides their internship. So uh, it's a semester with a, a, a large quantity of work. Uh, what is uh, what we teachers or what we uh, supervisors want that this internship 
gives to the students. These are a few uh, specific objectives, so we intend that they will develop their personal and technical skills uh, as working in a real organization. We want them to, um, to ameliorate their capacity of planning work and meet deadlines, uh, to do well what they do, to interpret and discuss the results. It's also a main task from, uh, of an engineer, uh, applying the prior knowledge, of course, and uh, at the end they must also write a clear report and well-structured. So these are the outcomes they must uh, succeed. And now I give Selena the word to present the next part. Thank you, Isabel. So, as Isabel uh, said, uh, we will try to understand the student's point of view. And the easy way or the easiest way to measure the point of view of students before and after the, their internship, we developed the questionnaire. So the measure was done by the questionnaire fulfilled by the students. So we developed the questionnaire, the questionnaire briefly, I'm going to describe all the questionnaire. They have two main parts, the first one is for student characterization, and the second part we divide, as you can say here, in uh, one, two, three, four, five main uh, small parts. Each one, so the first one regarding the global assessment of the graduation, the self-assessment of the students, the expectation regarding internship, and the main reason for the internship choice and an open question the student wants to write what they want. This is the the before questionnaire. The after questionnaire, we call after, after the, the internship, the, the, we make so the two uh, parts of the same, but this one, not expectation, but outcomes, to see what I expect, what in, in fact, what I deliver, and the only and the open question. Um, these three parts was uh, made by a, a liquor, five liquor scales, five point liquor scales, where one is very poor or very bad, two, five, very good or very high population. And uh, we create uh, six uh, options, maybe more the, for the after, before the questionnaire, so students and candidates so far no opinion. Um, this questionnaire first was validated within a group of students and the statistical measure of a combat alpha for, to measure the internal consistent, uh, consistency and the real uh, viability of the instrument was performed. And the instrument was okay. In this work here, in this presentation, we are only to show you the results and the discussion regarding these two points, self-assessment and expectation versus outcome of the students regarding this. So, these two moments was very well defined, so the, the, after, before the questionnaire was delivered, before the internship starts, and also the company and the subject of work was already defined. So the students already know where they're going to work. And the second moment was just after the end of the internship, but before the final presentation. Okay, uh, okay as uh, initial explanation of the research purpose was, was done, was made, and all the students was answered as a, the, 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 the both questions. So here in the third phase of our work, we're going to show the analysis of these expectations of young students. At the end, you have 44 students. Uh, okay, since it's uh, chemical engineering, maybe the second engineer area was the female percentage is the majority. Uh, so, 68% of the students were female and the others mainly female. Male. Uh, I can see most of the students were with age less than 24 years old, mainly 21 or less. We mm -hmm. must say that this, this circle is for the third year, so students are young. Uh, so, regarding the self student self-assessment, we have 11 items that students uh, assess based on the 5 one scale to 1 to 5. And I'll show you the three most important values, the mean, the mean and the maximum, before. As you can say, see here, in this, in this part here, most of the students uh, evaluate good or very good, 
because the medium was 4 over 5, maximum would be 4, 4 over 5, so they are very important. Regarding the after, a slightly different, however, only two of them are uh, statistical significant. Uh, so we put here in different colors to emphasize to help us to identify. Green here, a slight increase, so the student feel better after the internship. However, the difference is not statistical significance. These two are statistical difference. What do they mean? The, they, they, the ability to manage time and make that life for, him, for them was very low, were difficult. We remember that the five days a week, four of them, they must be at the company. And uh, also the ability to articulate internship with, with other critical activities that because the, the fifth day of the week they must go to the, the school to, to take some classes. So they, they have some difficulties. Only to, to understand the difference, this graph here for the, this, uh, this item here. So this is making the, the difference. So the zero is the students that are evaluating the same uh, before and after. However, only six students higher, but most of them are negative. Because here it is negative because before it was higher. Uh, regarding the student expectation, here, okay, in order to find the results, from the 11 items, 8 of them are significantly different, and here all the differences are below, lower. So the students evaluate after the internship lower than the expectation. So they are very expectations, they are very heavy regarding the technical skills that they think they're going to, to be able to apply before the, the internship, but after the things are not so quite understood. However, regarding this significant difference, I mean, okay, if you look only to the mean value, you see no big difference, only this one, five to four. Okay? But they are all statistically. So at the end, it's, uh, they evaluate positively. They said this one is changed to three, so she is the median point, not the neutral point situation. Uh, here you can see also for this question, it increased skills in an area where they want to work in the future. In the future, so most of the students evaluate negatively. So okay, after the internship, the measure is lower. So, very briefly, trying to analyze the self-evaluation or expectation outcomes regarding students' point of view regarding their performance in their internship, based on a questionnaire, two questionnaires before and after, we try to understand how the students think and they perform regarding the, the, the outcomes that the teacher think or they must to, to, to follow. Uh, from the 22 items that we are studying here, 10 of them show statistical difference before and after. And the, this difference is for lower uh, evaluation. Nevertheless, in meeting, we can say the classification was positive. Uh, here, uh, uh, what can I say this? I have one minute, yes. Uh, Isabel, here if you can, a few times you can help me, yes. Final conclusion, um, uh, as, as Selena has already uh, told, so uh, uh, before the, the, the internship, uh, students evaluate very well their skills. Uh, after the, the internship, they still uh, give very good marks to these items, as well as uh, globally all what uh, they, they have done uh, in their internship. Uh, so we must conclude that even uh, so, even with different slight differences between after and uh, before, we can uh, conclude that for students it is, uh, of course, a very important experience. So uh, future work will allow us to um, to understand uh, why some of those items uh, were evaluated differently from what we had uh, thought at the beginning. So this is, uh, this is still a uh, place to, uh, to think about it and to do other, uh, other studies. Thank you.